goes down the road. I did it uh, because that's the type of person I am. I, uh, I don't mind losing sometimes. Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News at 5 p.m. A temperature peak. This could end up being the hottest day of this week. No doubt people are turning up the AC to stay cool, but a word of warning we are now in a flex alert. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Vaughn. And I'm Pat Harvey. This is CBS 2 News at 5 o'clock and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Well, despite the extreme heat, you are being asked to conserve energy. Cal ISO declared a flex alert for today. It started at 4 p.m. and it goes until 9 p.m. And that's when you are asked to set your thermostat to 78 degrees or higher and avoid using major appliances or unnecessary energy during that time. It's also recommended to use a fan to stay cool and unplug any unused items. So just how hot did it get today? And how long will this heat last? CBS2 meteorologist Alex Biston is here now with the answers. Hi, Alex. Yeah, hi, Pat and Jeff. We're talking temperatures in the 90s and triple digits, feeling quite toasty out there. As temperatures rise above average, we are talking upper 90s from Saugus to uh, Van Nuys all the way into Ontario, too. Upper 90s can be felt in San Bernardino. And, of course, we are still feeling triple digits from Corona to Lancaster, Victorville, and 111 as we head to Palm Springs. Of course, closer to the water, a lot more comfortable. And take a look at this, Ventura and Oxnard, both feeling 67 degrees. We do have a heat advisory. We've talked about this. Uh, we talked about it earlier today and yesterday. This is with us until 8 o'clock tonight. So, of course, temperatures as we head into the next few hours will continue to be on the warmer side. And as far as monsoonal moisture, well, we are tracking thunderstorms well out to the east of us. A lot less activity closer to home from what we saw this time yesterday. But that is set to change as we will have an influx in this moisture as we head into Friday and Saturday. We will talk storm chances, where to expect it. It's all coming up. For now, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Alex. Now let's talk about the dangers of these high temperatures. Many hospitals are seeing a spike in patients overcome by the heat. And CBS News Chance Reveal is live outside Glendale Memorial Hospital now, where an ER doctor talked about the warning signs of heat stroke. Jasmine. Jeff and Pat, for example, this hospital right here seeing more of those patients coming in. Doctors tell me that it is critical that you recognize the symptoms of heat stroke, the most serious heat related illness. It can lead to death. Now, nurses and doctors here, though, are prepared to handle those patients. Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Raymond Vasquez is talking about the hot August temperatures gripping LA. <laughs> Local hospitals reporting a spike in patients because of it. If it's severe enough, they'll be here. We have. We have. Most recently, I saw a patient with a temperature of 107. Dr. Gabrielle Morrow is in charge of the ER at Dignity Health of Glendale Memorial and says when someone's temperature is that hot, it's difficult for the body to cool down on its own. We see a number of deaths every year from heat stroke. Mostly in the elderly. That's why Vasquez worries about his parents. My mom just turned 90. You just spill that with ice here. Dr. Morrow shows us the ice packs they use on patients with heat stroke and the IV bags of sodium. In this room, there's a hyperthermia cart to treat people who are dangerously overheating. You get severe dehydration and electrolyte abnormalities that can result in the heart stopping. Dr. Morrow says watch for these symptoms with heat stroke, a severe headache, confusion, fast breathing and heartbeat, seizures, little or no sweating, and a body temperature of 103 degrees or higher. And remembering this isn't a fever, this is a high temperature, that's different. Vasquez says that's why he he does what he can on hot days like this. I try to stay indoors. Dr. Morrow says she also wants to take this time to remind parents. I, she knows children love to play outside, but on hot days like we've been having, don't take them to the playground. They are very susceptible to heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Live here in Glendale, Jasmine, VLCBS 2 News. All right, thank you, Jasmine. And a warning tonight for people who drive on the 210 freeway through Irwindale. We are hours away from round two of a major closure. Starting at 10 tonight, a one mile stretch of the eastbound lanes will be closed between Irwindale and Mount Olive. Signs are up warning drivers about this latest closing that is set to last for five days. Caltrans is continuing repairs on the San Gabriel River Bridge. They're replacing hinges, so the aging structure will be strong enough to withstand strong earthquakes. Late last month, they closed the westbound lanes. Drivers are bracing for traffic jams.